Yo guys, it's Dane at Zim's Guitars and I've got a lot more guitars to restring today. So right now, we're looking at a black label Fender made in Mexico, M95. And this is a Squire Series one. So they named these Squire Series because they put cheaper tuners on there. And I think they put the cheaper saddles on there. So they did a couple of things to these to keep the cost down. And, um, you know, mid-90s, made in Mexico. And, uh, yeah, Squire series. But uh, they're still very nice, made in Mexico guitars. But a lot of guys, they'll take sandpaper and they'll sand that off right there. But if you see these black label... MNs, 93, 94, 95. If you look closely, you'll probably see where somebody scratched that off. A lot of dudes did that. Just since we don't have any strings, it got traded in this way without any uh, strings on it. Let's test the truss rod. Nice. So the truss rod does work well. We're going to go down here, turn my amp on, and we'll test on these electronics. T <coughs> tap on them. We got nothing. We got nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the pick guard off and figure out exactly what's going on in here. We probably have a wire that's come off somewhere, I am presuming. So let's do this. So the best way to get lucky on this is to see if we have a wire that has come off right here at the output jack. Ah, that's exactly it. Okay. Okay, so I just noticed that somebody put a stereo jack inside here. So I'm going to switch this out. So yeah, um, I got this Leatherman today. And it was a gift from my mom. Bless her heart. My mom is, I think, 86 years old. And she gets me stuff from the dollar store, like a lot of these <clears throat> little 9-volt batteries. She buys me stuff like that. She buys soap for the bathroom and dollar store stuff. But this was in that bag, so there you are. Thank you so much, Mom. She got me a Leatherman just out of nowhere. It was a total surprise. So kind of cool. It's got blades in here. It's got a knife kinds of knives there's a screwdriver in there it folds up like this got a little tape measure along the side super cool Okay guys, today's string choice, Ernie Ball Super Slinky, 9 through 42s. Perfect for a Stratocaster. So, are we going to be able to get these in here or we have to take the back plate off? I think we're going to be able to. 
Sometimes the old back plate, it doesn't really let you get in there. But this one, I think we can do it without taking that back plate off. So here we go. With the help of my Ernie Ball string winder. Here's our A string. So guys, thank you so much for watching uh, my restring videos and everything on my channel. And if you would consider subscribing, that would be awesome. You can even join our Patreon if you want to help support the channel and support me. For uh, only $3 a month, you can join Patreon. Starting to get a few guys signing up with us. So I want to thank you guys for that. Here's our D string. Been doing a lot of videos lately where I'm just restringing guitars. Because being in a used guitar shop, every guitar needs restrung and shined up. So I figure I might as well let the camera roll on this. I've got a lot more guitars here in the store waiting for a restring. I even have I even have a PRS guitar that will probably be my next video. I'm in my shop today. It's actually a Sunday. And uh, when you're a one-man operation like I am, I come in on Sundays a lot of times just to get caught up on things. I had a super busy Saturday yesterday. The first Saturday of the month is always busy for me. And business is still doing good even though we're in sort of a uh, kind of a messed up economy right now, but I think it's getting better. I'm optimistic that it is getting better because guitars aren't necessarily necessities but for some people they definitely are necessities that's for sure okay here's our nine gauge string this is our high E string and I was just watching some YouTube earlier this morning and Pete Thorne is doing his live stream on Sunday mornings and Pete was uh, live streaming from, I believe, North Carolina. He's out playing guitar in a band called, I believe they're called Five for Fighting. I uh, slightly remember those guys. Pete's a great player, and he knows a lot about amplifiers and a lot about uh, guitars. Okay, we'll stretch the strings out a little again. I just lay my hand over here to protect the nut. Tug on these things two or three times. And then your, uh, your G string and B and E string, just, you got to be very careful. Don't get crazy stretching those things because they will break quickly. And then we will... Tune this thing back up a little bit. So, the tremolo looks like it's in a nice spot. Um, it's You can lift up on it just a little bit. Somewhat floating, right? So you can wiggle it. Tighten that up a little bit. There we go. So I kind of like them right there. You can lift up a little bit if you want on it. But that looks perfect to me where that is at right there. Just double check this one more time. really loud it's 
It's a good one. So something like this, where it's the Fender label, made in Mexico, but it's the Squire series. Something like this, I would price at about three hundred dollars. Summer of 2022. It's a three hundred dollar guitar. If it has a case, you might want to run it up to three fifty four hundred. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what they're going for right now. So at that price, you're getting a real deal made in Mexico Strat. Again, three to four hundred dollars on something like that. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so we got a, another restring video for you today. Just restringing guitars like crazy. This thing looks to be a Paul Reed Smith. And this is the PRS CE. So this is the bolt-on version of the Paul Reed Smith. Looks like it's from 2019. He just wants a new set of strings on it. This is a customer's guitar. And this does have the locking tuners. Okay, so for the locking tuners, we just loosen the strings a little bit. And then you tr turn this little thing up here at the top. And these only should be hand tight. But they do have the slot across the top. And then after you loosen that, the string just comes right out. So it makes it restrings quick and easy. So we just cut the strings. And then that way, when you pull the string out through the back here, you're not pulling the whole entire string and everything off there. So that when you pull these out, you only have a small amount of string to pull out. And you're not trying to drag the end of the string that's been looped through there and everything. Makes it nice and clean like that. And so before we put new strings on, I just got a little bit of furniture polish. On a clean, nice bright orange, construction cone orange rag here. Just to shine this baby up. And then we're going to put a little bit lemon oil on it. I'm not going to get crazy. Customers guitars, they don't want too much weird stuff going on that the, that the guitar shop owner did. They just want it to be clean. These have a very unique pickup in there. Fishman. This has Fishman pickups in it. But you just want the guitar to be clean for just a basic restring. It's not really a setup. If something is completely crazy as far as the setup, of course I will make you know a small little change if I see something completely crazy about it. All right. So this means. We are ready to put strings on this, so roll the jingle. Today's string choice. All right, today's string choice. PRS Classic Guitar Strings, 10 through 46. High output electric guitar strings, regular light gauge. These strings have been proven over decades of use on PRS guitars. They're world class. And if Paul Reed Smith says that, you damn well better believe it. Right? Okay, let's put these on. They're not color-coded strings. And they're packaged a little bit strange. So, we have what looks like the low string, the low E string. And then I'm thinking that's maybe the, the G string right there. So, we're going to have to probably... Use our micrometer a couple of times.
to make sure we're putting the right strings in the right spot. Yeah, so these locking tuners make it really easy. Paul Reed Smith, you can tell that's maple. It's got the beautiful bird inlays all the way down. And when you see an owl, you know it's uh, 24 fret. And then you've got the Fishman pickups in here, so really nice guitar. Alright, so this guitar just came in, and we had a little buzzing right here. It's still kind of buzzing a little. I think I'll raise the saddle. This is super weird because, look, it says Bill Lawrence. Now, Bill Lawrence was the guy that worked for Gibson, and he made all those pickups. He wound pickups for Gibson. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know there's a Dan Lawrence, and I believe he was the painter. But this actually says Bill Lawrence on the headstock. It just looks like a kind of an inexpensive, uh, you know, sort of a Fender style. It's got some old shalers on there from uh, Germany, made in Germany shalers. But uh, it just kind of looks like a sort of a cheap sort of imported Strat. But I just thought that you guys might want to see that. That there is actually a guitar that says Bill Lawrence on there. Bill Lawrence Stratocaster. Mm -hmm. 